What's up everybody? Welcome back to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Today what we're gonna have to be doing is it is evening here at the ranch and it's a lot colder out. During the day here in South Florida it's about 95 degrees and now it's probably around 80 degrees now so it's a lot cooler and it's in the shade. The redfoot enclosure, right next to the redfoot enclosure, I have sulcato tortoises there and some wood turtles. And I have a big giant cactus that's growing there. The cactus is, is getting overgrown by a bunch of vines. And the cactus can't breathe. And I need that cactus to grow because I feed a lot of my tortoises that way and it's the biggest structure of cactus I have here on the ranch. So I have these tools right over here. I have these clipper thingies right here and mat these, these are real small. But I have these giant scissors right here and I'm gonna use these giant scissors and cut back all those weeds so that that cactus could grow and get all that sunlight and keep on growing real big and we're gonna keep on going and get that done. My girls, Snooky and Fergie right here, they like to watch me videotape, vlog, and you know, hang out around here. And then my sister's the one that's videotaping for me today. But anyways, what we're gonna have to be doing, let's go take a walk down into the back over there and cut some weeds. Let's go. Guys, so we are here by the Redfoot enclosure and this area is very thick with trees and bushes and stuff of that sort. This area was the first enclosure I made here seven years ago on my property, and that's why it's very thick. The trees are very grown in very good. You look over here, you guys look behind me. This cactus right here, you see all those vines and those weeds growing over the top of that? If you look, actually, look at that, you guys. If you look there to the right-hand side of the cactus, it's already growing through the vines. But I don't want those vines there anymore. I don't know where those vines are coming from. The tortoises eat it. It might be fine for the tortoises, but for today, I'm just gonna throw it to the side and let, have all the tortoises eat it all. They might eat some of the leaves that fall down, but that's all right. But let's get inside of there and just cut all this back and get this going. Here on the ranch, we're always doing something here at the ranch. Every single day, it's a different day here. That's why I always tell you guys, make sure you guys put your post notifications on because if you don't have your post notifications on, you're not gonna get notified when I post another video. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and you're gonna grab the subscribe button and throw it to the freaking sky. Let's take a quick little stop one second before we get that going. Gucci gang is stuck over there by the Sakata tortoises. They always get stuck over there. So we're gonna walk over there real quick, open up this piece of wood so they can run out and be free. And then we're running over there and getting that done. Because we have, if you guys look, the sun with about my fingers right there. We have probably about an hour left. So let's get going, get that done. Move these ducks real quick and then we're running over there. Come on, you guys. Come on. Come on. There you go. Right. Awesome, let's go get these weeds cut back. So we are here inside the Redfoot enclosure and this is a mulberry tree and I use that stuff and I feed it to the tortoises. But we're going over here and we gotta cut all this back. So if you wanna come over here, see what I'm gonna do over here. I gotta, God, this stuff is thick. I don't even know where to start, you guys. Um, 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 um. Oh, just start cutting. Ah, my God, I already got something in my eye. Probably should be wearing eye protection, but it's okay, we don't do that at the ranch. Just don't do this at home, kids. Make sure you wear eye protection. My God, ants everywhere. This is horrible. This is like less than a month of work, but it has to be done because if I would have waited any longer, it would have not been good. Let me uh, get the other clippers real quick and cut all this back. Let me uh, clear this out for you guys. You guys can see a little better. There you go. There you go. All right, so I cut all this back. Grabbing this branch right here. Pulling her out. Watch out, you guys. Move out of my way. In the midday, I would have been sweating really hard right now. But it's all right. Right now, it's not that hot. My God, this is thick. Let's keep on getting through, you know. It's like working in the jungle. Don't do this at home, please. 
Don't do this yet. Oh, oh. Hey! Alright, got this. Cutting this branch off right here. Bam! Oh my god, you're gonna watch that young video follow. like it. I'm going to let him eat a little bit of it and then I'm going to take most of it out. But my goodness gracious. I'm sorry. It's pulling it hard. All right, let's pull these out real quick. Go open the door. Uh! Open her up. There you go. Pull a little bit more out. So I'm back into this section of the property of the enclosure. And I haven't touched anything because everything's been very overgrown. And if you guys look closely right here to the cactus, you see all these brown spots right here? That was from the heat, the heat of the fire all the way over there. The fire, the flames are so big, it was hitting all that. If you guys don't know, I had a very big fire here at the ranch about a month ago, two months ago now. And it was very devastating, and we lost, we lost a lot of animals. If you guys haven't checked that video out, make sure you go check that out. But um, let's uh, keep on breaking all this down. Almost done. And then once it's at least trimmed off, I'm going to have my neighbor, when he comes back into town with his tractor, and come over here and just take all this out. See how many weeds and, weeds and trees? These are no trees that are good. It's just overgrown like crazy. And every time you chop them all the way down, they grow right back. So you have to rip them out. is now showing and now we can reach the sky. What a lot better. How I need it to go. I just noticed that I kind of broke some of the cactus. So what we're gonna do is plant this back into another spot. I'm gonna take off all the small pieces, this piece, this piece, and this piece, plant it back into another part of the property, and it'll grow right back. So then we'll have more cactus for more tortoises because more food is always good so let me put this right here and let's see if any more broke hopefully not let me check let me check and uh, there's one more freaking piece broken my goodness ah. so three little pieces all right well, let's go take this to the top we'll deal with that later let's go feed movers you guys we got bread and carrots for everybody they're gonna have their nighttime treat, weekly treat, because they don't get this all the time. This is just a treat. This is all leftover stuff. That's going bad, but also eat it. Whatever. Let's go take this to the animals. Boy. Come on. What's up, you guys? You guys want some? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ready? Good boy. Good girl. Good girl. Hey, be nice, Snoogie. The slow one back over there for everybody over there. Throw the carrots down. Ah! You guys hear Snickers in the background? Always oh, crying like a little baby. All right, I'm gonna jump in there real quick because I got a lot of bread. All right, ten pieces of bread for Moors. Got it. 
Here you go, Lola. Here you go, cupcake. Here you go, Gatalina. Come here, Gazi. Take it. Take it. Hold on, boys. Everybody needs to get their chance first. Sunshine. Nope. Sunshine. Got sunshine. Um, 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 um. Captain. Got captain. Here you go, Moors. I know. Okay, Lola. All right. Dude. 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 <laughs> there you go. There's dude. Oh, my God, Moors. All right, I need to get Sunshine's daughter. She's a little baby back over there. Come here, Missy. Oh, stop, took it. I ain't fast enough. This is what we do at the ranch, you guys. Give everybody bread as a treat. Watch out, Moors. Everybody in the back to get some. Oh my God, Moors. Ugh! God, I got cow saliva all over me. That's a big, it's a big girl. Yeah, big girl. All right, let's get a little bit more bread. And this is gonna be the end of the video, you guys. I'm dirty, I'm sticky. I got cow saliva all over my body. Yep. I got a shower. Let's get a little bit more bread. And this is gonna be the end of the video, you guys. Like I said, every single day, there's something happening fun here at the ranch. Let's grab a little bit more bread, finish this off. Call it a night. Sunset already went down. It's about to be dark in the next five minutes. And then it gets dark out here. Good girl. Give me a little bit more bread, Cassandra. Mm. Thank you. Here. I'm gonna give Moors a big hug. Gosh, she just whipped me in the head with her tail. Oh my God, Moors control that tail back there or something. Right, let's throw some in the background for everybody. And then get some more more of that. I'll see you guys in the next video. And I will see you guys.